What's up guys? My name is Hannah Langford and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about my natural hair. Um, I get a lot of questions about my natural hair so I thought that it'd be really fun to do a video all about my hair and how I got it to be this beautiful luscious curls because it definitely did not start out this way. So let's get into the video. Okay, so first, um, I'll first I'll start back to growing up. I didn't really have um, any knowledge or anything about my type of hair. Um, in all my pictures, I pretty much just have my hair into two massive, like, Mickey Mouse buns, and my mom used to always just take my hair out. Uh, we didn't know really anything about deep conditioners or any of the steps that you sh I should be taking to maintain my hair um, in its natural state. So, um, after I turned about 11 years old, I started wanting to do my own hair, and I just started asking my mom for relaxers because I didn't know how to deal with my curls. I didn't want my, I didn't even want my hair to be curly actually. I just, I wanted my hair to be pin straight. I wanted to be like everybody else. Um, so I would just go to the store with my mom and we'd get those box relaxers that you can get at Walmart and she would just do my hair. It never would turn out the way I wanted to so I was never satisfied with it. I never was happy with my hair. So I just continued to damage it over and over. Um, with relaxers and straightening it all the time. I would rarely ever wear my hair curly and if I did it was probably for like a day and it was always in a bun. Um, it got so bad whenever I got into junior high that I didn't, I really had no idea what I was doing and I was so fed up with my hair um, that I would literally just put my hair, part my hair down the middle and just put it in two low buns and I would just leave it like that for days and days because I didn't I did, my hair would get so tangly, I didn't know how to handle it, I, I didn't know that there was anything, I don't know if YouTube was even back then when I was in the 8th grade, but <laughs> I didn't know anything about YouTube tutorials or like blogs or anything that could help me, so I just thought I was going to be stuck and unhappy with my hair for the longest time. Um, it didn't, I didn't really become aware of my hair or the, the things I needed to do for my hair until I was about in the ninth grade. Um, I went to a lady that actually, a hairstylist who knew about natural hair and I, when I went there I actually wanted her to um, chemically straighten my hair so it was permanent and it wouldn't just like go back because if you've ever gotten those box relaxers, eventually your hair, it's super damaged but it starts going back curly, at least mine did. And I wanted to get something that was permanent that was never going to go back. So I asked her and I begged her for it and she would not give it to me. She told, kept telling me, Hannah, one day you're going to be so thankful that I didn't permanently damage your hair. And at the time I was just like thinking, there's no way I'm ever going to want to wear my hair curly. I don't know why you won't just give me what I want, but she never would. Um, but she did teach me a little bit about my hair and so I started kind of doing some things like um, conditioning it more. I still didn't know that I was supposed to be like conditioning my hair every week or deep conditioning my hair every week and I didn't still didn't know anything about like sulfate free um, shampoos or anything like that. I just kind of knew that I wasn't supposed to straighten my hair every day and I wasn't supposed to put heat on it all the time. Um, but at this point I still wanted my hair to be really straight and my hair was so damaged from all the years of doing um, relaxers and straightening it that I had little pieces in my hair that were actually like so damaged that they were stuck straight and I used to get so excited about that because I thought oh my hair is going straight it's gonna be easier for me to straighten it it's gonna be easier you know it's gonna look better I thought in my mind when I was younger that eventually my hair was just gonna just stay straight obviously that that's not true and I mean I'm sure if your hair got super super damaged and maybe it would but mine didn't so um, I in in high school I kind of started to wear my hair curly a little bit a lot more than I used to um, but it was still damaged I would probably wear it like once or twice a month curly and I'd always go to school with my hair wet because I liked my hair when it was wet but when it was dry I hated it and then by the end of the day my hair was always up in a ponytail or something because I was embarrassed by it or I just didn't know um, I just didn't like it I wasn't confident with myself and finally, when I got to college, I decided that I wanted to truly figure out what my natural hair looked like because I really didn't remember what my natural curl pattern was since I had been getting my hair chemically straightened since I was little. And I just was just, um, 
interested in what my what my natural hair was and I kind of got more interested in like my roots and what you know what being Hannah was um, what I was what I naturally was so I found YouTube I hadn't known about YouTube before but I never really looked at it for tutorials or anything I pretty much just used it to watch music videos and stuff um, so I found YouTube and I found all these tutorials and I just started watching them and I started watching them over and over and I did a whole bunch of research um, and then finally I one day I just decided I remember the day I was sitting in the car and I just decided you know what I'm gonna take this natural hair journey and I'm gonna take it seriously and I'm gonna you know try to not use heat on my hair I'm going to do everything that it says in all these videos I'm gonna deep condition my hair every day I'm gonna um, detangle my hair like it's gonna take a long time but I'm not gonna just sit there and rip out my my hair because I don't wanna be patient and have to go through it you know one strand at a time um, and I'm not gonna be dyeing my hair anymore I'm not gonna do any of those things because before I had dyed my hair multiple times every time I dyed it I'd have pieces of my hair break off it was just a complete disaster so finally I decided to do that and it was hard it was really hard I wanted to quit multiple times um, but I just did a few things here and there that you know helped me stay on track and helped me realize what my goal was and to remind myself what my goal was um, if you guys want a video on on how I stayed with my natural hair journey and I kind of kept, my, kept myself motivated I can definitely do that for you so just let me know um, but I would condition my hair every week I started doing all that stuff that I um, started need, needing to do and my hair started kind of getting a lot a little bit better um, but I still wasn't happy with it I still wasn't confident because I had all these pieces that were damaged I had you know I'd have a really nice curl and then I'd have a straight piece and then I kept thinking that my straight pieces were just gonna go back to being beautiful curls if I just used all this deep conditioner and I did all the steps that I was supposed to but that wasn't the case either it would my hair wouldn't go back and so I was just one day I was like okay you know what I just gonna have to cut off all of these dead pieces all these straight pieces and in no means was it in no way was it like a big chop because I only chopped off like this much of my hair because there was only this much that was really that damaged um, after I had been growing it out and trying to um, get my hair healthy again um, but I chopped once I chopped that off my curl pattern kind of formed and my hair was definitely a lot shorter um, than it had been before and it was it kind of just like went to right here on my shoulders curly but I was a I was a lot more confident because I actually had a shape in my hair would dry in a what I thought was pretty so once I did that then I started to get a whole lot more confidence and um, then it was just me trying to maintain my hair and make sure that I could get length because when I first started the whole my whole thing was that I just wanted to have long hair. I've always wanted to have long hair my entire life, um, but my hair was never would never grow. When I was younger, straight, my hair would would never grow past right here. So I thought, you know, I just thought my hair didn't grow. I thought it was just impossible for my hair to grow. And then finally, when I started doing all those things that I needed to, like the deep conditioning and all that, and taking care of my hair and not putting a whole bunch of heat on it, then my hair started growing and I was so excited and I didn't I was just like are you serious this is awesome and then I um, as my journey had got started to go on I switched from being so um, focused on the length of my hair um, to the health of my hair and then once I did that and started just worrying about the health instead of the length my hair just grew a, a, a lot and I was just like in shock when I remember when my hair went past my shoulders curly or even straight I was just like wait are you serious is is this really my hair did I really is this really my hair right here so I was so excited um, but yeah that was pretty much my my journey so I'm still on it I'm still doing I'm still trying to grow my hair out it's still a lot it's a lot longer now than it was obviously four years ago and if you would have asked me when I started this if my hair would be long and past my boobs like I can show you my hair, I don't know if you can see, my hair is down to here whenever I pull it. That's like a huge thing for me because, like I said, my hair used to never straight. It would just be right here. It would never pass my shoulders really. So, 
um, yeah, that's my natural hair, hair journey. And now my hair is curly. I have a really pretty curl pattern that I, th I really like. Um, I'm just really happy. I'm really proud of myself. And yeah, that's how I went from having really r damaged hair and not really knowing what I was doing with my hair to now being confident with curly hair. And now I rarely ever straighten my hair. I usually probably straighten my hair like twice a year. And that's for me as a younger girl, that was unheard of because I straighten my hair every day. Um, so yeah, that that's just it. That's what happened. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that my natural hair journey was inspiring and helped you in any way. Um, if you guys have any questions for me or, um, or anything, just feel free to leave comments in the comment section. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll have all my social media in the description box below. So if you like to follow me on all those um, social media sites, that'd be awesome. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.